Hi, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and this tutorial is going to show you how to enter data and plot and create a regression line. What you'll see in this tutorial is valid with the TI Inspire CX CAS model, the regular TI Inspire CX, and the older TI Inspire calculators. Uh, one prerequisite is that you want to be sure that your version number is 3.6 or higher. Here's what you're going to learn how to enter data how to plot the data, how to plot a linear regression line, and how to extrapolate using the line. All right, we're going to start off with a new document, so you can press number one. And we are going to use lists and spreadsheet to enter the data, and data and statistics to plot the data. But first, let's do lists and spreadsheet. So press number four or select the middle one with using the directional arrow key. Now what we have here is a spreadsheet, and uh, we need some data to put in here. Here's some data. This data is the distance from a beehive to a flower, and the amount of time that the bees are doing their little wiggle dance inside the hive to uh, tell everyone else where and how far the flowers are. And so we see here that uh, the distance to the food in the first column is 1.35 kilometers, and this, uh, the associated data with this is 3.5 seconds of dancing and so on. This might be a good place for you to pause the video so that you can copy this data down if you're following along and you want to put this into your calculator as well. All right, so uh, we're going to start putting in the data. First, we're going to put in the uh, distance data, 1.35. You can press Enter. It'll advance down the next row. 1.5, 1.5, and there are a total of 11. You can put those in on your own. Five and six, okay, and once you've got all those in, you can use the directional arrow key on the keypad to go back up here to row number one and begin putting in the cycle time data. 3.5, 3.8, and I'm gonna skip ahead and put in all the rest of the data. Okay, that's the last of it. 7.6 is the last cycle time piece of information. So now we have to figure out how to plot this. Here's how. Now on your keypad, you are going to add another page to this problem. So the best way to do that is to press Control and then the Dock button. And then we are going to select Data and Statistics. All right. Now, there is no graph yet because we need to specify um, the variables. Now, if you click on the bottom here where it says click to add variable, you'll see none. And same with uh, the side here. There's no data yet. What's going on here? You put data in list, didn't you? Well, almost. Go back to the, uh, the spreadsheet, which is the first tab. You can click on the tab. And what we need to do is we need to give names to the data here. And that's where this top row comes into play. Here we can put in the name of the lists. So we're going to call this dist for distance. And you can uh, press the tab key to tab over to the next column. And this one we will, how about the very obvious name of time. All right, now we've got two list variables in. We can switch back to our... Um, data and lists and we see that the data is scattered all over the place it's not in any order so here's how we define and how we plot the data at the very bottom of your screen click on the um, add variable and here we can choose either distance or time but since uh, the distance is the one we want here so we're going to go with distance and it arranges it into kind of a dot plot and on the side here we are going to click down and we are going to select time and look at that, there we go, a very beautiful plot. And it looks roughly linear. Okay, so let's get a linear regression. Here's how we do it. A lot of things can be accessed through the menu key on the keypad. Pressing menu one time will bring us to a menu of things that we can do with this graph. Choose number four, analyze. And you can do this by the downward directional arrow key or by pressing number four. And you could probably see it. Here we go. We're going to choose regression. Now, um, there are two at the very top. 
that look very similar. Number one, show linear, which is mx plus b, and number two, which is show linear a plus bx. You might be wondering, what's the difference? Well, this is the difference. The show linear, which is choice number one, is used mostly in algebra classes. If uh, you are in an algebra class and you are studying uh, linear equations, y equals mx plus b is a formula that, that you're familiar with. It's called slope-intercept form. And um, here, m is slope, b is the y-intercept, and, and this is uh, where it's plotted, nice straight line. Now, the second format, which is show linear a plus bx, is virtually the same thing. It's just that they are in a different order. bx is over here, plus a. This would be the same as slope, the variable b, and a would be the y-intercept. Now, um, you will encounter this format if you are learning this taking a statistics class. So in statistics, we refer to it a little bit differently. Uh, this is a predicted outcome, and uh, x is our explanatory variable, y hat would be the response variable, and there's just, you know, a slightly different, you know, formality to it, a little bit different language, but uh, they still plot the same uh, linear line. So back to this, we're going to choose number one, show linear, as if we were in an algebra class. And there we go, quick as a wink, it plots the line and even shows us the formula right on the screen. Now, um, it could be that the, the formula is in the way, you might want to guide uh, the little cursor over to um, on top of the formula and pressing control and then the center button on your touchpad. This will cause you to grip the formula and then you can move it around and so you can kind of see the numbers a little bit better uh, like that. Now if we want to extrapolate, supposing we want to find the time of the dance that the bees will do if the food source were, let's say, seven miles away. Um, then what we can do is we're going to add another page, again by pressing the buttons Control, Doc, and this time we're going to choose Calculator. Alright, with Calculator we can use the variables by pressing the VAR key. And what we see here is we see all kinds of uh, interesting variables. If we go down to the Stat Regression Equation, which is a little ways down the list, we can select this, and by putting in number seven, this would be a seven mile food source, and by pressing enter, it'll tell us the approximate time that the bees would be dancing uh, to indicate how far away the food was. So there you go. Hope this helped.